three years ago, on this very day, I woke up in a cottage in the Isle of Man in full lockdown quarantine. Why? Debbie's dad, my father-in-law, Mac, uh, had been described, prescribed with terminal cancer. He was in late stages. And we decided that we would go and say our goodbyes, right? We didn't know how long we were going to be there. Um, it was a very arduous journey to get back to an island that was in full lockdown. Managed to get all the paperwork, get the tests, fly Vancouver, Toronto, Toronto, London, London, Isle of Man, get in a quarantine taxi, get to this cottage. My brother had left groceries in a kitchen. And for two weeks, we lived in that cottage. We were allowed out only in the first week, do you remember this, to go get tested. And if we did three tests negatively in the first week, we only had to stay for two weeks. If we didn't do tests, we had to stay for three weeks. Second week, all we were allowed to do was exercise for one hour a day. And all this time, Debbie's dad's in hospital. Anyway, his four to six week prognosis turned into 10 months. It was, truthfully, it was a miracle. And we got to spend 10 months because, you know that phrase, well, I've started, so I'll finish. So we started, so we finished. He was, we were with him as he ran his race right to the very day, called it a day. Why am I telling you the story? Because I had to run my business from a nightstand in the back bedroom of a house that I started dating my wife in, in 1982. And in that year of pretty much living in the Isle of Man, our business didn't shrink. In fact, we grew. I did over a million dollars worth of sales working from a nightstand with an eight hour time difference and a whole team that ended up having to be virtual. Was it by choice? No. Was it by design? Yes. I had no choice. I had to do it. We designed it that way. But here's the flip side. Two things. First of all, it made me understand that I can work anywhere on the planet if I'm disciplined enough to show up when my clients need me and do the work even though I have no office structure. So I can do that now. And I do do that. And I've traveled all over the world. Asia, Australia, the UK, North America. I can do it. Wonderful. Changed my life in the way we do that. Second piece is, I went back to the island that I was born on, that I left when I was 30. We lived in Canada 20 something years. We'd left the island seven years before that. I re-fell in love with the Isle of Man, which may sound strange, but I did. We were able to buy a house um, that we financed. We've turned it into an Airbnb. We have people move into that house today from Italy on a vacation. Okay. Would never have happened without that trip. So short story long, Whatever's coming at you or hitting the fan, don't let it get you down. See it as an opportunity. Even if you can't see what it is, I guarantee you all things are meant for good. And if you just embrace that and acknowledge that, global working, second home that runs itself in an Airbnb, freedom to have that work-life blend that I never thought was possible, but I hoped it was, but I didn't know how to do it. All of that came out out of a terminal cancer journey with Mac, my father-in-law, bless his heart. Whatever's going on around you, think of it as something for good. Give thanks for it, embrace it, don't moan about it. And a couple of years from now, who knows where you just might be. What do you think?